Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Claude Scruggs the leakless piston cup racer number 52. So before we get right into the review let me discuss something. So Claude is a Husker Morocco who raced in the piston cup for leakless, the adult drip pans, and bore the number 52. In 2005, he attended the Dynaco 400 at the Motor Speedway of the South and was one of the racers that got involved in the multi-car wreck caused by Chick Hicks. And during the wreck, he met with his fellow racer, Billy Oil Changer, who I don't have, who eventually got sandwiched by James Cleaner and Hall Ingaz, who I also don't have. Then in another moment, Todd Scru his fellow racer, Todd Marcus, came power sliding straight towards him and BAM! Right into Claude, and the two of them begin topsy turvying and eventually and Claude and and at the end of the wreck, Nick, he got bounced off from the bottom by Lightning McQueen, sending him flying into the air through the wreckage. Although I must admit, it was. But that is a. But that's gonna have to be a review for another day. So anyhow. Claude also appeared in one of the Boom Studios comics titling Race Fans Old and New when Lightning McQueen was overhearing a voice of Chucky from Doc Hudson's radio and, and Lightning informed Claude that he needed a place to hide so Claude found a detour on the racetrack, and the two of them, them took it and found, went through some piston cup trailers. And Claude stated that he had been racing for over 20 years, and and the and the two of them spotted some former residents of Radiator Springs, and that is. And, um, oh, and I, uh, one more thing. Claude was also one of the Danico 400 racers to be released in 2006, along with Lenny McQueen, Chick Hicks, Strip to King Weathers, and Aiken Axler. And that is it. So now let's get right into the review here. Here we've got his angry, determined facial expression, number 50, his headlights with a number 52 on it, one of them, his black grill, which represents as a mustache, and on the hood we've got black background with a, the Leakless logo saying Leakless Adult Drip Pans with black on the background, and on the left side we've got a number 52. Mm -hmm. With white in the background, his exhaust pipes and his yellow rims on his black wall light your racing tires. No leakless logo there, just the gas cap and several sponsor logos saying Piston Cup, Nitro Aid, Re Mo Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless his own sponsor, Retread and Clutch Aid. And on the top, we've got another number 52, no name signature. And on the trunk, we've got another leakless logo with the slogan, Adult Drip Pans. And on the back side, we've got his taillights with the, another leakless logo with a number 52 on one of the taillights. And on the back bumper, we've got the slogan, Adult Drip Pans, Watch Your Wheels. And on the right side, we've got the leakless logo, no leakless logo on the left side. Similar design, but completely different. And that is it. So now, 
let's compare him to the other cars that share his body mold, like the other Husker Moroccos, such as James Clean Air Ernie, and Ernie Gearson, the Stoggy Swaver EXs, Murray Clutchburn, Krusty Rodor, and Floyd Mulvihill, Misty Motocrest from my previous video, who is a Crown Silista, and Greg Candyman, who is a Capital Motors Verve XT, and some of the other cars that have a 70s to 80s body style, such as Chick Hicks, who is a 1979 Shyster Kremlin, and Daryl Cartrip, who is a 1977 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which Husker Morocco is your favorite, and which 70s to 80s body style car is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comment. Oh, also, do you guys remember the 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 Boom the Cars comic series by Boom Studios? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car of the past from the car collection video in the description should I review next in the comments down as well. Please consider supporting the channel by subscribing to me and, and giving me a lot of views because my channel is desperately in need of 400 public views really, really bad. It would really, really be helpful, and I really, really would appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!